Hello YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have another boot review for you, and these are actually, um, as you all know, if you've been watching my channel for any, any length of time, I really, really like um, Yugoslavian and the former Yugoslav countries, uh, so like a lot of the, uh, over by Serbia and, you know, uh, Herzegovina and Croatia and uh, Slovenia, Macedonia, stuff like that. I really like the, uh, the Balkans uh, military surplus, uh, especially, especially Yugoslavia, because it's a country that's not around anymore. Uh, but it was around in my lifetime. Um, so, but these are actually a pretty rare item on the on the market nowadays. And these are a pair of J, so, excuse me, uh, J and A army boots and. Um, JNA stands for uh, the Yugoslav National Army. Uh, now, Yugoslavia in English is spelled with a Y, uh, but in Cyrillic it starts with a J, so that's where the J comes from in JNA. And uh, these uh, seem to be based off of like um, Czech design uh, boots. Czech had double buckle boots like this, which seem to have been borrowed by uh, France. Uh, France had the double buckle boots that they copied from America, but the Czechs seem to have copied the French design, and the Yugoslavs seem to have covered the Czech design. Um, so, these are made out of a, a, a pretty uh, supple, flexible leather, despite how thick it is. Um, these are fully lined. Uh, there's the tag in them. The tag is always... Here, I'll focus in on it for you. The tag is always this kind of cotton uh, sewn into uh, the lining of the boot, the leather lining. So this brown leather is the lining and this black leather is the uh, outside. So together it makes a very, very um, thick uh, boot overall with the leather. Um, it's got double rows of stitching on everything. As you can see, there's two very close together there to make, and then that is doubled. Uh, there's two single rows of stitching here. Um, the sole is direct molded uh, and it's held in place with screws. So as you can see, it's even kind of based off of the French sole pattern on this. So, uh, but it's kind of screwed in place like the Czech boots are. Um, these are double buckle. They only have six, uh, sorry, five eyelets, whereas the French boots have more. Uh, they're not quite as tall as the French boots are either. I wouldn't say they're as nice of construction, but these are definitely uh, a lot easier to wear and a lot more comfortable right out of the box. Um, I do wish uh, the buckles are like stamped sheet metal. They're very thin and uh, they're pretty sharp actually. So I'll zoom in on those for you. As you can see they're pretty, they're pretty thin. They're like pot metal almost. They're pretty sharp along with these needles. I wish these uh, eyelets were reinforced. Uh, somebody took and put grommets into the, they must have had pretty small shins. Uh, but they actually fit me with these grommets where they are. Somebody must have put grommets in the leather to reinforce the holes because the holes tended to tear out on these actually because the leather is so soft on them um, but these actually fit me uh, I got them slightly used uh, they're pretty much brand new though um, the Yugoslav National Army used these from like the I think the late 80s early 90s um, onward and even uh, Serbia and everything used them afterwards uh, we can compare them now to my my black uh, French pair so there's the French pair on the left here and uh, the Yugoslav pair on the right. So as you can see, the French ones are about two inches taller. Um, the buckles on them are a lot nicer. They have roller buckles, uh, steel like wire, um, bent roller buckles. Uh, everything is like double riveted, reinforced. All the stitching on it is at least double. It's got uh, quadruple stitching here on the wear points. Um, uh, it's got a lot more eyelets. It's a lot more customizable. All of the holes up here are uh, reinforced with grommets. Uh, everything about the French boots is a lot nicer than in the Yugoslav boots. As you can see, the tongue construction is pretty much the same on the Yugoslav boots. Uh, the rear construction is pretty much the same. You can see the seam in there. Uh, see, these aren't fully lined. Uh, the lining stops at about uh, where the gaiter stops. So, um, whereas in the French boot, they are made entirely out of one uh, piece of leather. So it's just incredibly thick leather and it's black on the outside, brown on the inside. Uh, but the gaiter is a separate piece, as you can see right there on the French ones, and sewn on on the outside, right there. Whereas in the J&A boots, it's all one piece. So they cut the entire boot out of pretty much one piece of leather, uh, for the most part, two or three, if you count the heel reinforcement at the toe. Uh, but there's not a lot of uh, pieces of leather going on on the J&A ones, not as many as on the uh, French one. Um, 
Now, as you can see here, here's the, the French sole pattern. Uh, this is direct molded. These are the lighter black pairs. The earlier ones would have had stitching around the outside. Um, so we'll compare that now to the, the Yugoslav one again. As you see, they're pretty, pretty similar. So uh, the Yugoslav ones are a little bit wider. The toes are a little bit rounder. They're not as pointy as uh, the French ones. They also don't bend up as much as the French ones do. Uh, the French ones have a lot nicer heels on them. I'd say a lot better for like walking and marching and stuff than the Yugoslav ones because um, the Yugoslav ones are a little bit more aggressive and uh, they use like a harder rubber on theirs and theirs aren't padded as nice so there's a lot more uh, strain when you plant your foot. There's a lot more of an impact on these ones than on the French ones. But uh, overall, I'm really glad I found them because they're just a great piece of history to have. I really wish I had some mountain boots because I have the Yugoslav Mountain Trooper camouflage the oversuit which is like looks like somebody just took a bunch of canvas and spray painted it with a bunch of different browns and greens and stuff uh i own a yugoslav m48 mauser rifle uh really really love that um it's actually my hunting rifle um i got a bunch of yugoslav helmets as you've seen if you've watched any of my helmet videos i've got quite a few helmets from the balkans i really really like yugoslav surplus a lot and it's out there and it's cheap and uh, it's readily available now you probably won't find a pair of boots in nice condition as these uh, that are in your size if you have a pretty average foot size because a lot of the sizes you'll find are either extremely large or really really small that are in this nice condition so I'm really glad I got them for the price that I did um, but uh, overall I'm really really uh, pleased with these I've had these for a few years now and I wear them when I'm uh, out reenacting like um, and stuff like that I'll also wear them like around just to because you're supposed to rotate your shoes to keep them broke in make sure the leather is nice I'll wear them around every now and then for a day or two um, per month or every other month uh, just to make sure that they're still functioning just the way they should uh, to keep them intact not really enough to put wear on them because um, eventually I hope these will go into a display or a museum or something like pretty much everything I own I hope it all goes into a display or a museum or at some point um, so hopefully you guys like this video and uh, you guys keep liking the shoes. I know a lot of you really like shoes and boots. I, I'd love to help you size stuff or help you find stuff if you're looking for a particular image or or anything in, like that. I know how to help size pretty much every uh, country uh, out there as far as what you're looking for military-wise or what they used. Or if you can't find exactly what they used, I could help you find something close if you're trying to achieve a particular image. So, um... Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We're at pretty close to 75 subscribers as of this video, and I thank you all so much for that. Um, the channel's gone way farther than I expected, just me being a fucking nerd, explaining <laughs> explaining all the fucking shit I hoard around my apartment and stuff like that. So uh, thank you so much, and I really appreciate your guys' appreciation towards my channel and how nice everyone's being in the comments and whatnot. So, uh, so uh, hopefully I will uh, see all you guys in the next video. Bye.